What's up, guys? This is your boy, Pastor Crypto, checking in with another banger. If you're new to this channel, this channel is about making money and passive income. If you like any one of those things, then give me a like on this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, and then select all. That way, you guys be the first people to catch these bangers when they drop. All right, let's get it. I got a lot to get through today. I'm going to start off with my um, comments. So YouTube, for some reason, is censoring some of you guys' comments. It's not your boy. It's not Passive Crypto. You know what I'm saying? I'll be trying to respond to some of these comments, and then when I go to my uh, little notification bell, which is right here, you know what I'm saying? I go to it, and then I click on the comment. Like, for instance, this comment right here. You know, he's talking about the final transactions, how cheap they are, and it's way better than being on Ethereum, right? So I wanted to comment, right? And I click on it, it's not there. I don't know where is it. I didn't do that. I didn't censor this person. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm gonna show you again. When I click on this right here, then my little notification bell, right? I click on it. He's right here. Comment. You know, I want to respond to the comment. It's not there. Now this comment was made over an hour ago. I don't know if it's gonna ever show up. You know what I'm saying? But for some reason YouTube is censoring some of y'all comments, man. Which is crazy because spam gets through pretty often. But regular comments for some reason, YouTube are censoring, you know. So I just want to put that out there. It's not me censoring you guys' comments. Like this person, I don't even think theirs is there. Nope, it's not there. Oh, uh, theirs is there. So how come that one's there, but this one not? That's weird to me. Certain comments are getting censored. I don't know why. So now, you know, the hottest things in crypto right now, you know what I'm saying, is um NFTs and metaverse. So, and play to earn, play to earn games, right? So my very first video um, I made on YouTube also, stick around to the end of this video because at the end of this video, I'm going to show you my indicators and we're going to talk about what's going on with Bitcoin. My very first video, let me scroll down to the end, was February 11, 2020. And I made a video on Hyper Dragons Go, right? Now, Hyper Dragons Go is a role playing cryptocurrency game where you have dragons you can breed these dragons you fight these dragons um you can go on um adventures to gather food that was the strength you needed to be able to fight and then in-game items and all this stuff right now the term for this is called play to earn i was doing this last year in february 2020 uh doing a bear market and i can attest to this right here NFTs, play to earn games, um, and the metaverse games, they're going to be like a hedge against the bear market because you can make consistent passive income. Well, it's not technically passive because you do have to um, play the games in the, um, the RPG games and video games, the NFT games. You do have to participate. So it's semi-passive, but it's a good way to make passive, I keep saying passive, income in a bear market. And right now it's a bull market, and people making a killing on them. So this is like a, a a hedge, you know, against the bear market when the market going down or up, you know, these kind of universal. So my first videos, you know what I'm saying, was this, you know what I'm saying? I, maybe I was early, you know, this is way before play to earn term came out you know what i'm saying it was just a blockchain game and i was saying you know this is one of the best ones at the time it was man so devs when they devin is great you know what i'm saying when they developing and stuff what happened when hyper dragons go the devs just stopped devin you know what i'm saying they stopped developing the platform happened started having all type of glitches and all this stuff that was going on with it you know what i'm saying but the economy of the platform was great. And I'm looking for the next economy like this, not specifically 
dragons or what have you. But the way that economy was set up, when I say economy, I'm talking about the ways to earn income. It was like five or six different ways to earn income on this platform. They had the marketplace where you could breed dragons and you can sell them, right? And they also had where a marketplace where you can loan your dragons out where other people can breed them and you can earn income that way. And then they had a marketplace where you can actually just sell your dragons. Then they had a marketplace for in-game items that people actually needed to level up. Then they had a leaderboard and they had a tournament. And the tournaments was where the big money was at. You know what I'm saying? You fighting the tournaments against the top dragons. And if you won, you won um, cryptocurrency. Right? And then, <laughs> to top it off, they had a Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame is once you won so many tournaments, you get inducted into the Hall of Fame with that dragon. And then that you can no longer play with that dragon, but you will earn passive income from the platform for life. As long as the platform was generating income, you will earn it for life with that dragon because your dragon got inducted into the Hall of Fame because it won a whole bunch of tournaments. So that was the thing. You know what I'm saying? So it was like six ways to earn passive income from this platform. And it was great. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Hey, anybody got anybody watching this video? If y'all can come up, y'all can find another play to earn game that got like six five or six ways to earn income and they got a leaderboard and they got a uh, ways to earn in-game items and a marketplace to sell those in-game items holla at your boy give me some games in the comments you know what i'm saying some play to earn games in the comments that you guys know of that have these um economies because you can make a lot of money in those economies you really can. So that's what's hot right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be hot going all the way into the next bear market. You mark my word on this. Play to earn games, NFTs, because they kind of mixing, they kind of mixing the two right now with NFTs and play to earn games. At first, it was just play to earn games. Then the NFTs. Now they're combining the play to earn games with NFTs built into the platform. And then now the metaverse. So eventually it's probably going to be metaverse, NFT slash play to earn games. That's all going to be one. That's what's probably coming down the line. That's the way it looks like it's heading to me. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm going to give you a quick tip. So this is a quick tip on a way to earn about 10 to, I say about 20 to 30 um, percent on your initial investment. So. Like, do this from week to week. You go to the 24 hour. See, they got a one hour, 24 hour, seven hour. This is Coin Gecko. You can do it on Coin Market Cap too. And then you just click the 24 hours and you see what's popping. So, right now, Gala up 46%. Basic attention up 27%. Shiba up 22%. These are the hot tokens that's popping. You know what I'm saying? Now, when the market pulled back from where is that? You can go back to this list. If you snapshot it, take a picture of it, write it down, you know, do this from week to week. And when the market pull back, these tokens going to drop a lot. Then you can get in at a discount and earn about 20 to 30 percent return on your money. When the market pull back around. I do this from week to week, uh, you know, every week or every two weeks. I look at it when the market is up and I see which ones are popping. Um, you hitting the 24 hour price range and then I see what's popping like gala popping. Now, if the market go down, it, the, the, that 46% they made in 24 hours going to drop a lot. The price is right now 67 cent. It'll drop a lot. So you can hop in with your money and earn a quick 20 to 30% on your money or 40% on your money when the market turn back around. If you believe the market about to turn back around. This only works if you believe the market is about to turn back around. Like if the market just tanking, this won't work. You know what I'm saying? So I had to put that in there for the people who don't know. Now, back to the play to earn the NFT uh, metaverse game, LPI Dial. Now, LPI Dial right now 
is hot. You know what I'm saying? Look, it's only 80 cent. I can't promise that this token going to go up. I can't do that because it has low liquidity. You know what I'm saying? It's only 24 hour trading volume. It's only 144,000. However, it has a small supply. The max supply is only 10 million tokens. They have different tiers that you can get into for their uh, C sale private sales. Now, this is not a launch pad. It's a C sale private sale where you put your money in the pot and then you get an allocation of tokens before the project comes out to the market so the average investor can invest. So the C sales, it's like there's a pecking order, it's VCs, venture capitalists. Then it's the C sale, then the private sale, then the IDO, then it's listed on an exchange. So you high on that pecking order. You know what I'm saying? You right up under the uh, the VCs. You know what I'm saying? So you're getting in before everybody else get in. And they got different tiers. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to break down what the tiers are right now. So let's go to the website. This is actually a Medium article. So I'm going to leave this Medium article in the link uh, in the description. And because, because on this Medium article, they actually have the links to the different telegram groups and you could just click on it from here because that was one of the things I had issues with I couldn't get access to the actual telegram group I needed to be in and the links is actually right here in this medium article you know what I'm saying so whatever tier that you can qualify for here's the link for it and yes there's private telegram groups for each level so Pleb has his own telegram group, Ape has his own telegram group, and so on and so forth. So let's break down these prices. Let's go to the website so you can really see this. So the Pleb tier and the Ape tier. The Pleb tier is 1,000 LPI tokens and the Ape tier is 5,000 LPI tokens. Now you can single stake or you can create an LP with BNB. You have to stake it on a platform and you go to the platform and it's right here where it says staking. So let's break down. This is a cross chain platform too. They are going to have projects on multiple blockchains. You can see the list right here. You can go to the website and check it out. So let's broke let's go over the pleb tier. So there is a 50% discount if you create an LP with B B and B. So it's basically half what you would normally need to get into each tier so for the pleb tier is a thousand tokens so let's just see for tier one how much that is that's eight hundred dollars eight hundred and eight dollars the current price of 80 cent right but if you create an lp you get a 50 percent discount right so the 50 percent discount so that would be 11 bnb slash LPI LP tokens. So basically it'd be 11 LPI LP tokens that you have to create, right? Um, so half, basically this is the way I do it. I take this thousand, which I did right here, put it in there, and then I just divide uh, divide it by two. So basically you need around 400 and what? Three dollars, $404. Need $404 to get into tier one if you create a BNB LPI LP token. So let's go to tier two. So for tier two, you need 5,000 tokens, right? But it makes sense just to create a BNB LPI token uh, liquidity pair because then you can get into these tiers at a 50% discount. So 5,000 LPI tokens is $4,000. If you create an LP, all you need is two thousand and twenty dollars for tier two. Tier three is ten thousand tokens. So this is what I did. You know what I'm saying? So let's just go to the top tier. So the top tier is twenty five thousand LPI tokens. Dang, twenty thousand. Woo, I didn't know it was that 20,000. That's still cheap considering all these other launch pads. Launch pads. Uh it's costing 60,000, 100,000, 
150,000 to get in the top tier. The top tier for this one and the uh, C sales and private sales beat the uh, IDO price that you can get. You know what I'm saying? For these same tokens. Now, these are hot projects too. Like LPI DAO specializes in NFTs and metaverse type projects. You know what I'm saying? You, they, it says it right here on their website. Where is it at? Game five and NFTs. See that? Game five and NFTs. And you getting in at a seed sale, private sale price, which is before the IDO and before the listing price. So back to what I was saying. So 25,000 LPI tokens. So if you create an LP with BNB and stake it, $10,000 for tier one. That's all it's going to take for tier one. You see what I'm saying? So that's dope. LPI dial. Listen, the way they have it, they have vesting periods. You know what I'm saying? The vesting periods can go all the way out to a year. So you get a small allocation up front. And then every month, you get a percentage of your 100% of tokens that you're supposed to get. All the way up until you get all your tokens. So that's generating passive income every single month. And you getting these hot new projects that's going to be the that's This is the future. The NFT, Metaverse, GameFi, Play to Earn games. You getting in at the beginning stages of the project. See what I'm saying? Getting in at the beginning. Now, let's get to this right here. Let's look at my chart. Remember last time I said, my last video, it was looking bullish. But there was yellow crop, there was yellow tops, which means it didn't have much momentum. If it comes into blue tops, the price can go up significantly, which it did. Look at that. Because of the momentum. Strong momentum pushed it up. So right now we looking really, really bullish right now. This is a bullish cycle that's about to, that's uh, about to come to the top of it right now so that's what it's doing right now but it's still bullish right now all my signals is bullish you know bullish 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 so the price is fifty nine thousand two hundred five dollars right now the time is 107 p.m november 25th 2021 so everything looking good you know what i'm saying everything looking good right now um, I don't know how long this trend will continue. Hopefully it can stay above 57,000. That was another thing I said that it needs to stay above 57,000 for it to be bullish. Um, it's been having issues staying above 57,000. Um, the reason why I believe that it could fall below 50,000 is because of, I think it's strong support around that range. Um, it's more of a hunch than anything, just basically looking at my indicators. I haven't really looked at a chart per se and charted the prices. I'm just looking at my indicators and it just seemed like it hasn't been a lot of strong, uh, what's the word momentum to keep the price upward, but that can all change. You know, it can be a whole bunch of wells that come in and they just start buying up everything or a whole bunch of people who has a decent amount of liquidity and they can prop the price up, uh, which creates an environment environment where it's bullish. But I still have a, just based on what I've been seeing with my indicators, I still think that it could fall below 50,000 if it doesn't stay above 57,000. I guess I could... <laughs> look at some data and then bring up some charts to justify my um my hunch but right now it's just a hunch you know what i'm saying yeah i don't have any concrete proof that it's going to fall below fifty thousand. it's just in my opinion if it doesn't stay above fifty seven thousand, i do believe it's going to slide back to fifty thousand and potentially below it you know, I think it's more support down there if it doesn't have, if it doesn't keep its support at 57,000. That's just my opinion. Somebody else might look at the charts and see something different. Um, like I say, there's no concrete proof that that's going to happen. I don't have any concrete proof 
of the reason that it should happen, but just basically what I'm looking at, it could. Now, this is your boy, Pastor Crypto. Peace, I'm out.